Hello guys, welcome to this channel. In this video, we are going to modeling this cosmetic product. First, let's open up your blender. Just new file general. Press A, X to delete everything. Go to the front view. Press Shift A. Add an image reference. On your reference. I'm going to use this picture as my reference. Move your reference by press GZ. Move it up here. And turn down the opacity by go over here, object data property. Check this opacity. Change it 0.5. Press Shift A. Mesh. Add a circle. Change it to 36 vertex. Tap to the edit mode. Press S to scale it down. Press G, Z to move it up. Press E to extrude, Z to move it down here. Like this. Okay. And select all of this vertex. Press X to delete the vertex. Now add a modifier. We need a mirror modifier. Don't forget to click the clipping. And next, press R to add a loop over here. And select this vertex. Press G twice to slide it over here. And here, G twice to slide it over here. Press Ctrl R again to add another loop cut over here. Press G twice to slide it. Now, Go to the face mode by pressing 3 on your keyboard. Select this face. Sorry, not that. The front face. Select this face. Press E to insert. And press B. Insert it like this. Yeah. And press G, Y. To move it inside like this okay now go to the front view select this edge press shift d to duplicate it gz to move it down over here press e to extrude on the z axis like this tap to the object mode apply our mirror modifier by pressing ctrl a Back to the edit mode. Select this edge. Press E to scale it down like this. Press E again, scale it, Ctrl F, grid fill. And select this edge. Ctrl B to bevel it. Increase the segment like this. Add a subdivision modifier by pressing ctrl 2 shade smooth and select this edge press ctrl b to bevel it just make it two segment like this okay now we have the bottom part let's do the top part press shift a mess at a circle just make it a a vertex Press GZ to move it up over here. Tap to the edit mode, scale it down. Press E, Z to extrude way up here. And press S to scale it up like this. Press Alt Z to X right view. Go to the right view. Press S, Y, scale it down like this. Go to the top view. Press S, Y, OK, press Ctrl R to add a loop cut, maybe over here, press S, Y to scale it up, like this, and let's add a subdivision modifier.
press Ctrl R again. Add a loop cut again over here. Press S Y to scale it up. Like this. Tap to the object mode. Add a subdivision modifier. Shades mode. Okay, it looks pretty good to me. Select this edge. Press E. S to scale it down. Like this. Okay. And press A to select everything. Press S to scale it and Shift Z. Scale it without the Z axis. Scale it up like this. Select this object. Tap to the edit mode. Select top of the vertex. Press E. S to scale it down like this. Bevel it. Select this object. Press S, Shift Z to scale it up. Like this. Okay. Next, we need to do the small little of the top part over here. Press Shift A, mess add a cube. Press G Z, move it up. Scale it down. Like this. Scale it. Okay. Tap to the edit mode, go to the top view, press S, Y to scale it down on the Y axis, press SX, scale it on the X axis, scale it up, like this, okay, press Ctrl R to add a loop cut here, and press Ctrl R again to add more loop cut over here, and escape. Change it to 64. Go to the front view. Go to the top view. Alt Z to X right view. Select all of this edge. Press X. Delete vertex. Add a modifier. Mirror modifier. Change the axis to the Y. Check clipping. Select all of this edge again, press edge to hide, go to the vertex mode by pressing 1 on your keyboard, select all of this edge, select all of this vertex, press edge to hide everything, go to the front view, go to the front view, change it to, change it to face mode, press A to select everything, select check it with select after this press E to extrude like this press A to select everything go to select check it with select and Press E to extrude like this. Press Ctrl R to add a loop cut over here. Press Ctrl B to bevel it. Just make it two segments. Go to the front view. Press Ctrl B to bevel it like this. Tap to the object mode. Let's see. Add a subdivision modifier by pressing Ctrl 2. It looks too bigger to me. Press SX to scale it on the X axis. Add a modifier, bevel modifier. Move it up. Select this one, move it over here, go to the top view, select and scale it down on the X axis, out edge, go to the top view, press S, Y to scale it on the 
y-axis like this back to the edit mode pressing one to the vertex mode alt z to the x-ray view select this vertex press g x to move it inside and do the same over here press g x to move it inside tap to the object mode and this one press s x scale it up on the x axis press alt h go to the face mode select all of this face Press E to extrude on the Z axis. Okay, now let's fix something little bit over here. It doesn't look good to me. Over here, just select this object. Press tap to the edit mode. And select this edge. And this edge too. Go to the front view, press Ctrl D to bevel it. Just make one segment. Press Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Move it way up here and select this vertex. Press Alt Z to X ray view. Select this vertex on the back. Go to the top view. Press S Y 0. As you can see, it becomes the straight line. And do the same at the front one. Select this edge. Select this one, this one. Go to the top view. Press S, Y, 0. Let's see how it looks. It looks good to me. Okay, we are done with the modeling. Now let's move to the texturing. First thing to do is just select this object tap to the edit mode select this edge select this edge and press alt z and select this hold control select this edge select this edge again and this edge move way up over here select this edge and this edge where is it this edge no this edge okay press u mark sim we are doing this for unwrap the level next go to the render property change it to cycle go down to the color management change it to filmic and high contrast open your window over here change it to the render view click this and check this too turn off this too expand this bottom way up here open new window over here Change this to Shader Editor, change this to UV Editor. Press N to close the property tab over here. Select this object, new material. Scale it up, press Ctrl T. If nothing happens, if you press Ctrl T, let me undo this first. Just go to the Edit, Preference, Add-ons, and here type Node. Just check this Node Wrangle to install the add-ons. Save preference. Okay, now select your principal BSDF. Press Ctrl T. Select Open. Found your label. And tap to the edit mode. Press A, U, unwrap. Let's see over here. Let's click this vertex. Press L and scale it down because it's the back. 
and select this we need to fix this thing go to the edge mode by pressing 2 press alt select this edge press s x 0 press alt select this edge press s x 0 select this edge press s y 0 select this edge 2 press s y 0 press 3 to the face mode select this face select press a to select all right click follow active quad press ctrl l adjust your image reference like this maybe on the texture image node change the repeat to extend turn down the roughness okay back to the object mode now at the bottom part it's new make it black like this and turn on the roughness again to make it more shiny and the top part is new material and click this base color make the same color with this just here click a drop click your picture and turn down the roughness okay we are done here don't forget to save your project next I will do simple background and lightning I will skip forward Okay, that's how I made this face wash product. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching.